My name is Judith Fleming, and I'm a Peace Corps volunteer in Rukunjiri, Uganda. Today I want to talk to you about empowerment, social and economic empowerment for women in Uganda. Women perform about two-thirds of the world's work, but they only earn one-tenth of the world's income and own less than one percent of the world's property. Similar to the majority of other countries around the world, the traditional gender role of women in Uganda is often considered subordinate to those of men. These roles are largely domestic, including housekeeping, child rearing, fetching water, subsistence cultivation, and cooking and tending to community needs. Most women in rural settings are engaged in agriculture, but it is men who determine what crops are to be grown. The woman clears the land and does everything plus cultivation, but when it comes to harvesting, selling, and marketing, it is the man who benefits. While there are many laws on the books in Uganda protecting the rights of women, they are not enforced and they are really challenging the current culture. Our goal is to empower women both economically and socially. Women's empowerment has five components. One, a sense of self-worth. Two, the right to have and determine choices. Three, the right to have access to opportunities and resources. Four, the right to have the power to control their own lives, both in the home and outside the home. And five, the ability to influence social change. The core of empowerment lies in the ability of a woman to control her own destiny. So what are some of the ways we can empower women? Well, here in Uganda, we did it with chickens. The Nibakuku Women in Development, NUWID, is a village organization of 25 women led by an amazing lady by the name of Akangunda Christine. NUBID was established about eight years ago, and its goal is to establish community-based income projects to improve the livelihood of its members and empower women to be more independent. Last year, NUBID received a small grant from my organization, the Foundation for Community Development and Empowerment, or FCDE, and this money was used to empower women both economically and socially. On the economic front, NUWID used the grant money to purchase 750 chicks for each of the 25 women who were given 30 chicks each to raise for the production of eggs. But before we actually do anything with the chicks, and as part of our partnership, each woman had to sign a memorandum of understanding, spelling out her responsibilities, had to agree to participate in a series of financial literacy and empowerment training sessions. So step one was a series of training sessions in budgeting, reporting, maintaining expense records, and understanding the concepts of income, expenses, and net profit. This project is an IGA, an income generating activity. Its goal is to eventually provide an income stream for the women who represent the poorest of the poor here in Uganda. The income is generated by the sale of eggs. Step two was the individual construction of the chicken coops, adequate to house 30 growing chicks. Step three was the procurement and transportation of chicks to our southwest village of Nabakuku. And the day of distribution came. It was a beautiful Saturday morning the plan was to have the chicks distributed about 10 a.m. At seven o'clock that day, I received a phone call saying the chicks have arrived and the women had decided they would not distribute the chicks until I came to the village. So I quickly arranged transportation, moving a little faster than I usually do on a Saturday morning and arrived at the village where I was greeted with open arms. The women waiting for me to inspect the chickens 
as though I knew what I was doing. That morning we distributed 30 chicks to each of the 25 members of Newid. Husbands were a large part of the process. First, for the most part, it is their land that the coops are built on. Second, the more support the husbands provide, the easier this would be for everyone. Some of the husbands even came to help count and carry the chicks. So here we are, one year later, with grown chicks producing eggs. My name is uh, Akankunda Christine, and I am the chairperson of Cook Women Involvement. Uh, the group started in 2010 with the name of helping each other at household levels. In 2016, partnered with FCDE, and through FCDE, we met Judith. With Judith, uh, we have managed, as a group, we have managed to write a grant to FCDE, and we won it of 2,000 US dollars. The grant was all about poultry keeping, and it was implemented. And from that project, uh, every woman now is able to, pull, to sell at least 20, 20 trays of eggs per month, uh, which means that every woman is contributing something to her family, is helping the husband. With Judith, uh, we have managed to acquire skills from, from her, uh, like bookkeeping skills, uh, now we are, we are good at bookkeeping skills, but before her, we were green. We didn't even know that it is necessary to record uh, those business transactions. Women have also uh, developed a sense of responsibility from the work that is being done by Judith through, through her trainings and motivation. But empowerment is not just about economic independence. It is also about social empowerment. I'm Patience Sampumuza, the Program Director, Foundation for Community Development and Empowerment, FCDE Rukunjiri. FCDE is a capacity building organization that seeks to create inclusive, sustainable development. Women in Rukunjiri are faced with a challenge of uh, domestic violence coupled with low self confidence and esteem. Whereas they are the entire breadwinners in their families, they are not involved in decision making and planning. All this is left in the hands of men, which leaves them more marginalized and vulnerable. In January 2018, FCDE worked with one of its partners, Nuit, Nyakuk Women in Development, to sensitize uh, the community about uh, domestic violence and the importance of self-esteem. The activity was attended by 28 women and their men, and such activities will continue to be utilized to build inclusive, sustainable development. So what's next for the women of Nuid? Well, the chicks will still be producing eggs for at least another eight months, 12 months, after which time most of the chicks will be sold. Uh, there is interest among other women in the community to participate also in an income project, including chickens. Uh, in addition, Newid has expressed serious interest in establishing a BSLA, which is a Village Savings and Loan Association, which encourages savings and uh, financial discipline. There is no doubt in my mind that Newid will accomplish all that it wants to do because they are a group of amazing women. And this project has answered the proverbial question for me. Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? Well, in our case, the chickens came first, all 750 of them. I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too.